Hello, math buddies! Today, we're going to learn about circles and related terms defined. I am Jordans and welcome to Math TV. Our targets for today, define, draw, or illustrate a circle, state the definition concerning the basic terms related to a circle, and discuss the relationship between radius and diameter of the same circle. What is a circle? A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance or equidistant from a fixed point called the center. A circle has one and only one center. We can name the circle by its center. Use capital letters to name the points in the circle. This is the symbol for circle. And this one is circle B. Next, what is a radius? A line segment that joins any point on the circle to its center is called a radius. Look at line segment DN. This one is a radius. How about line segment DA? Correct! This one is also a radius. What if we have a straight line connecting point O and point Y passing through the center point? Line segment DO and line segment DY is also radius. If we have two or more radius, we call it radii. So, radius, singular term, and radii is the plural term of radius. A radii of a circle are equal in length. And, infinite number of radius can be drawn from the circle. Next, what is a diameter? A diameter is a straight line segment that passes through the center and both endpoints lie on the circle. Line segment OY is a diameter. Is line segment AP a diameter? No, it is not. Why? Because it's a radius. How about line segment EF? Yes, it's a diameter. It is a straight line segment that passes through the center and the endpoints lie on the circle. How about line segment BC? Very good, it is not a diameter. Although, it forms a straight line but it didn't pass through the center. Diameter of a circle are equal in length too. So, line segment EF is equal to line segment OY. Infinite numbers of diameter can be drawn from the circle. Let's have a closer look and find out their relationship, radius and diameter. We have circle D. As you can see, we will connect point O and point Y. The line passes through the center. And now we have radius OD and radius DY. They are equal. The measurement of the radius is actually half of the measurement of diameter OY. Therefore, the length of the diameter of a circle is twice the length of its radius. Let us name the circle. It's circle M. What is circumference? Circumference is the perimeter of a circle or distance around the circle. Now, from circle M, I will draw a line segment from point A to point C. This line segment that joins point A and point C is called chord. So, line segment AC is a chord. I will connect again a point, point A to point B. Is this a chord? Yes. How about this one? From point G to point F, it passing through the center, is this a chord? Some of you says no because it's a diameter, which is true. But remember that a chord is a line segment that joins any two points on the circle, and the diameter is one of them. Its endpoints lie on the circle and connect two points. So, diameter is the longest chord. And, infinite number of chords can be drawn from the circle. Okay, we have another circle. It's circle D. I will draw a line here and it will intersect the circle at point B and point C. This one is second. So, a line that intersects the circle at any two points on the circle is called second. Line BC is a second. Look at line BJ. It's a second too. Another one, we have 
Blind Segment HD. No, it is not. Because it doesn't intersect the circle. It is a radius. How about line HC? Yes, it is a second. And infinite number of seconds can be drawn in the circle. Okay, we have here a second. Then I will draw another line. Let us connect point R and point S. As you can see, the line intersects our circle at point C. This line is called a tangent line. A tangent line is a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point, And the point is called point of tangency. Next, what is an arc? An arc is the distance between any two points on the circumference of a circle. We have here arc CK. An arc is a part of the circle connecting two points. An arc divides the circle into two parts. The smaller arc is called minor arc. The larger one is called major arc and is greater than a semicircle. A semicircle is an arc of a circle whose endpoints are the endpoints of a diameter of the circle. An arc is named by three points, of which two are the endpoints of the arc and the third one lies in between them. So let's name and identify these arcs. We have arc CBK, it's a minor arc. Arc CB is also a minor arc. For major arcs, we have arc CLK and arc KCL. While arc ALE and arc EKA are both semicircle. We go now to central and inscribe angles. Central angle is the angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and whose sides are both radius or contains a radius. The central angle here is angle ODN and angle NDY. Their vertex lies on the center of the circle and their sides are both radius. While inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides are chords or contains a chord. We have angle NOA and angle OYA. These are perfect example of an inscribed angles. Their vertex lies on the circle itself and their sides are chords. I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day and God bless everyone.